Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. Okay, look what we're gonna make today. We're gonna grow crystals out of borax. How cool is that? It's so pretty when you look at it up close. It's all sparkly and shiny, and you're gonna grow the crystals yourself. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first you need to get out a pipe cleaner, some kind of a pipe cleaner. I folded one pipe cleaner into a star. You can do it that way, or I cut up some little bits of pipe cleaner and I'm gonna twist them into a snowflake. Because snowflakes are different. They say all this, all snowflakes are different. Each snowflake is different. So this yeah. one, I'm just gonna make a quick, twisted, beautiful snowflake. Okay, there's my snowflake. And I'm gonna need to suspend it into my jar. Suspend means I'm gonna hang it into the jar. So um, I wanna test it to make sure it's gonna fit in my jar because you don't want it to touch the sides. So I'm gonna bend it a little bit because if it um, touches the side, the crystals can attach to the side of the jar. Okay, there we go. I've That's made perfect. my snowflake. Now I'm gonna take a little piece of string I'm very excited, so I'm talking really fast. Okay, I'm tying a little piece of string. Don't have to be fancy. Tying Could you also just twist the string around, like bend the pipe cleaner over it? Would that work also? Uh, well, no, because you want to suspend. I'm only going to fill the water up to here. You're going to suspend oh, okay. the snowflake all the way in. So I've tied a little string. Wherever, whatever you have in the water is going to grow the crystal. So I'm going to trim that. So, because you can see here, it started to come up the string. Now I'm going to use um, a chopstick and I'm gonna tie it. What else it. could you use if you didn't have chopsticks? A pencil. You could use a little piece of stick that you found outside. Don't have to be fancy. You're gonna make it so that it hangs inside your jar. Doesn't touch the bottom. You can roll it up till you get it just right. You might need a grown-up's help with this, but you might not. So you're going to tie it on and hang it in your jar. You just want to make sure it doesn't touch the bottom or the sides. And if it does, it doesn't really matter because you can just wiggle it and pull it out. Okay, now I've made my snowflake. I'm going to put that aside. Um, I'm going to use borax, which is um, an additive that people have added for years to keep their clothes cleaner. It's a, it's a, um, it's a booster. It's a booster for laundry or bathroom or kitchen. That's what the box says. But so that's what I've got. I've measured it out. You need three tablespoons of borax to one cup of water and the water has to be boiling hot. So for sure here, you're going to need a big friend's help. So I've measured out. I have two cups here. So if I need three tablespoons for each cup and I have two cups, how many tablespoons do I need? Miss Kate? I think you need six. Six. Okay, so I've measured them out. I'm going to pour them into my jar. Mm -hmm. This looks like a lot. Now I've boiled my water already, and I know because this is a, um, a container that holds two cups, I'm going to just fill it up to the line. So my boiling hot water, this is where you're going to need to make sure you have somebody. And this is also a special kind of glass that won't crack with the yes. hot water, right? Okay. Yes, it's a canning jar so that you can, oh, I didn't do that. It's a canning jar so that it can take boiling hot liquid. So now I'm using my popsicle stick and I'm carefully going to stir up all of my borax into the water. I don't want any chunks. We're trying to do something called, we want to make sure all the liquid is, all the powder is suspended in the liquid. It's kind of a science experiment. It's very exciting stirring it up you're going to have to be super careful because it's boiling hot water don't want to be sad and get burnt okay i'm stirring it up the it is going to continue to look cloudy and that's okay but you just want to make sure when you stir it around you don't see any big chunks stir 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 and then take your snowflake Carefully lower it into your jar. And then wait for the magic to happen. At my house, I could see a change in about 
an hour. I could start to see the crystals forming. So it will get a little bit clearer as it cold, gets colder. I believe as it gets colder, the crystals will grow more. And then when you pull it out, you will have your snowflake. And inside your jar, you're also going to see the crystals have formed inside the jar. So that is really cool. And if you use hot water in here, you can clean it out. And All, there's still water in there, though, when you this, pull it out, right? Yes, Initially. your water will come out. Yes, yes. So you've got that. And then also, if you want to make your snowflake a different color, this one I put green in, but not very much. You can add in some drops of food coloring, and then your snowflake will have, can you see the two different snowflakes? Your snowflake will have a different color to it. So that is our fun science grow a snowflake experiment for today. So thanks for joining us. I'd love to see if you're able to grow a snowflake. Send us a picture and you could um, hashtag it at Instagram. Oh my heavens, I should remember this by now. Alameda Arts Fun. And uh, you can check us out on our YouTube channel. Well, that's where you are right now, Alameda Arts. Or you can come visit us on our website, alamedaarts.com. All right, friends. Okay. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye.